Okay, in step two of solving the Rubik's Cube, what you want to do is get the middle layer. Because if you've done the first step correctly, you should already have the first layer. All of these pieces are red, matching up with the red center. All these pieces are blue, matching up with the blue center, and so on. So to get the second layer, what you want to do is make... The, you want to get the middle edge pieces that go in the middle layer, like this one. And you can tell if it goes in the middle, because if it doesn't have yellow on it, it should go in the middle. Because any piece that has yellow on it will eventually go on the yellow face on the bottom. So, and you want to get them in the position where they need to go. For example, this one's already in there. It is the blue and red piece, and it's between the blue and red centers. Just like you would if you're solving the cross, except you're not going to solve them the exact same way. In order to do this, you need to do... You need to learn something else. It's a different sequence of moves, but it's not an algorithm, because I don't like to teach it to you as an algorithm, because it's much simpler to think of it a different way. So here's an example of a piece that needs to go in the middle layer. It is the green and orange piece, and it does not have yellow on it, so it needs to go in the middle layer. And what you need to do is get this piece, like it is now, lined up with the green center, or if it was flipped the other way so that orange was facing you, line it up with the orange center. But the whole point is to make what looks like a T. See? You want to make what looks like a T right here. If it was like this, it wouldn't look like a T because it doesn't go all the way down. This will be your T. So what you want to do is take this piece and find out where it needs to go, to the left or to the right. In this case, it needs to go to the left, because it needs to go between green and orange. So what you're going to do is you're going to move this piece away from where you want it to go. Just like that. Just move that piece away using the down face, so you don't mess up anything on the top. Then you're going to bring down the side where it needs to go. The orange side. You're going to bring that column down. So now what you're going to do is move this piece back and you're going to bring that column back up. At this point, you could think of it as away, down, back, up. And that's how I would like to think of it. And then you're going to notice you have this white piece out of place. And also you might notice that you paired up these two pieces. And what you're going to do is the elevator move, just like you did when you're pairing, when you're putting the corners in the right spot. You're going to move the person out of the way, bring the elevator down, put the person back in, and bring the elevator back up. And by doing that, you've moved both the corner and the edge back into their positions where they're supposed to go. Now here's another example. The green <coughs> and red piece. The T is already made, and if it wasn't, just remember to rotate the bottom layer, the, down, the downside, until it is matched up. And now this piece also needs to go to the left. But if it was flipped like this, it would be flipped the other way, and you need to make a green T. And when you make the green T, it needs to go to the, to the right. We're going to go with this case. So, in this case, you need to move this away to the left instead, bring down the other column, the right side, because that's where it needs to go, move the piece back, and bring the column back up. The same sequence, away, down, back up. And then you're going to do the same thing, the elevator move, to put this piece back in place. And you will solve that piece also. Problems arise when you have a piece like this, where it's flipped incorrectly, or when the piece is just in the wrong spot and you have nothing on the bottom layer to use, to switch it. So, we're going to go with this, where it's flipped wrong. What you're going to do is take any yellow piece, and you're going to act as if it belongs in this location. And you don't even need to make a T or anything because it doesn't even belong there, so you don't have to worry about making a T and putting it incorrectly. You're going to do the same sequence of moves as if it needed to go here. It needs to go to the right, so you're going to move it away to the left, away, down, back, up. Now you might notice that it should be paired up, but it's not, and that's because the piece doesn't belong there. And you're just going to do the elevator move. What you did there is you kicked out the piece that belongs there with a piece that doesn't belong there. So that way, when you rotate this over to make another T, you can put it in the correct way. Just like that.
and then that's how you get your middle layer.